Now, what is so particularly awesome about this cage though is the quick release system. And I'm gonna show you that in this video as I build out the A6700. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay, and today I'm gonna talk about camera cages. So what I love about camera cages from my perspective is the protection that they offer. One time, for an example, I had my gimbal on the back of my car and the gimbal tripod feet are really small, so it's not super stable when it's sitting on that. And when I closed my door, it like moved the gimbal just enough where it fell off the trunk of my car and landed right in the parking lot. And I had a camera cage on my camera and nothing happened to it. The camera cage had a slight scratch on it. So another thing I love about camera cages, from my perspective, is the fact that I could just mount the cage right to a tripod without having to put a tripod quick release plate on the bottom of the camera. I really like that as well. You can just snap it right in there and it's good to go. So what I have here for the Sony A6700 is the Falcam F22 and F30 quick release system camera cage. Now I also have one for my a7 IV that I'm filming with right now and this system is next level. If you look at it here you can see the camera cage itself. You can get accessories like these side handles and this top handle and there's also other accessories like this magic arm here for example. Now, what is so particularly awesome about this cage though is the quick release system. And I'm gonna show you that in this video as I build out the A6700. So, like I was saying, if you look at the bottom here, you have a quick release plate, so you can mount this right to an Arca Swiss tripod. You can also have the camera vertical and you could mount it right here. This is like another tripod mount, so you can actually have the camera vertical sitting. I'll show you that in a second. You can also see all the quarter 20 threads around so you can just bolt stuff to this all over the cage, on the sides here, and so forth. Really, really good design. Now also note this rubber here, which will really help grip the camera on the bottom, so it won't wiggle around when you have it screwed in there. And you can see this also has cold shoe adapters. Now, cold shoe, you might not know what that is. A cold shoe is what looks like this square here. So this is like a cold shoe, and you can mount stuff onto the cold shoe, like this light, for example. So you can slide that on and then tighten this down, like so. And now that's mounted to the cage. And you have another cold shoe here, and there's another one down here on the bottom. So you can mount another cold shoe option there. So again, versatility-wise, camera cages are awesome because you can build them out as needed, um, or you can keep them very simplistic, which is how I use it most of the time. I normally don't have all these handles on there. I only use them occasionally when I really want to have the camera, you know, rigged out with handles and I'll be holding it for a long period of time, uh, doing a lot of filming and stuff, especially um, the side handles. The top handle, I do like, I use a little more often because it's cool getting low to the ground with it. Now, this also comes with this cool tool, which you can put on your key ring if you want or something like that. And it's made to tighten, you know, the screw that goes on the bottom. So that's what this is for and very handy. Also, depending on what accessories you get, um, it also comes with Allen keys. As you can see here, got another Allen key, got a smaller Allen key. And there's these little screws. I'll show you what these screws are for in a minute. But basically what we got to do is we just got to slide the camera in. Just got to put the screw in there. I'm just going to drop that in like that. And then we just got to tighten it down. Just cinch it up a little bit like so. And now notice here on the bottom how we have the quick release. So I have a little mini tripod here. So you could see how on the this little mini tripod, how it has the little notch there. You see that little notch, that angle? That's the Arca Swiss notch for those that aren't aware. And if you look at the camera, the bottom of the camera, you could see how it has that notch. You see how it has the Arca Swiss notch? And it's on this direction as well, so you can mount it either way. But watch how it just goes right in. It just hooks in, loosen that, tighten it, tighten it back up, and let me show you how that mounts there. See that? Yeah, from that angle you can see it pretty good. You see how it's clamped on there? So you can see how I have it mounted here. Now watch how I can mount it vertically as well. Because remember on the side here, we have this other mount. So you could mount it this way, just as easily. 
and now we have a vertical mount as you can see and that is just awesome so like i said built-in vertical and horizontal mounting with the cage you don't have to worry about any of these plates or anything like that so that's super convenient having it like that and also the way that the cage fits, let me just show you a little closer here. Now notice how this part sticks out like this way. So it's actually like in front of the camera a little bit. If you look at it from here, you could see how there's like a space there. So it's not blocking anything. And we have a nice protection around the battery door, looking at it from the bottom. Open up the battery door, you can see, no problem, get in there. And again, looking at it from this side, you could see how this stuff opens up like so no issue there so you can get into everything without a problem same thing with this bottom door it opens right up no issue and again the top door is going to open up as well as you can see there top door opens no problem now talking about this quick release system check this out so there's a button on here so you can see the quick release pins moving there and then if you look at the top here it has like those notches so it's such an interesting design. It just slides on and locks. So it automatically locks into place. Now, if you press this button here, you can slide it and it'll click over to the next notch. So again, looking at it from the side, you don't have to twist anything. You don't have to tighten anything. This is automatically locked just from the push button. So I can just slide that right off by pressing this button. I mean, that's what makes this system different and better than a lot of the other systems out there, in my opinion, just because of the versatility and speed that you can set this up as a full-fledged, you know, caged rig. So for example, let me throw this back on the top. So I got that in the center there. Whoops, right. All right, right there is the center. All right, guys, so now that I have the top handle quick release on there, I just want to show you how these side handles work. Now, again, these are extremely nice, extremely well built, and they're very comfortable for your hands as well, the way it fits your fingers. But notice there's just a button here to release. And then on the side, you have these built in rail systems. So you just got to place it over that and slide up and it's locked into place. It just locks in there. So now this thing is permanently like fixed. You just hit this button and you can take it right off. It's incredible. So you don't have to tighten anything, loosen anything. You know, you don't have to like wiggle it and get it cinched up. It just automatically locks. Same thing on the other side. So there we go. So now we got this rigged like so, as you can see, looking at it from the side, nice big handle. So now I have a microphone here and we have these cold shoes. So I could put the microphone wherever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the handle over one one click like so. So now the handle is a little bit more centered on the camera and it just gave me a little bit more room for this cold shoe over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mount this mic over here. So you can see here how I have the mic in this cold shoe right there. Now I can just run the cord around. All right, so now I have the microphone cord hooked up here. And again, the mic is in the cold shoe right there next to the handle. So I can still get my hand on the handle, no problem. And like I said, guys, there's so many different ways that this can be done. I could put the mic down here onto this cold shoe if I wanted to, if I wasn't using this handle, for example. There's a, so many ways that you could go about addressing this stuff. Now, again, another option up here is I have a monitor. Now, you can also get these accessories here as you could see right here so this is just a f22 quick release and remember how i was telling you about these little pins these little screws here these little screws can actually go into these quick release plates let me show you what i mean if i take this handle off so you could see right here how we have those extra holes and you could mount those screws in those holes you can just screw them in there and that will give you extra support because it won't allow it to twist. And you can see how it will marry up to those holes. So you have these two little holes and then the one big one in the center. And that's what the big screw is for here. So again, it'll just make it more secure and it'll keep this from twisting. Like if you had something that was applying a lot of uh, torque to it, it would twist and that will, that'll drive you crazy if you have something heavy and you don't want it twisting. So that's another really good solution that Falcam's come up with to solve that problem. 
because a lot of times stuff twists on you and, and it's really annoying. So on the bottom of the monitor here, I have this quick release plate screwed on there and you can see the mortise and tenon design on the bottom. So that's just gonna now quick release attached to this. Super easy, watch this. Let's slide that on and boom, it's on. It just clicks and snaps into place. So now we have a monitor mounted on here, as you can see. And I can hook the cable up to the micro HDMI, which is down here on the bottom. From the back, this is what it looks like. And you can see I got the monitor there, the camera, the two handles, the microphone. Pretty sweet setup going on. It's nice having a big monitor, especially when you're using the handle like this, because when you're walking, you have this nice big monitor looking down and it just makes life a lot easier. All right, so now I have a lens on it and you can see what it looks like with a lens. And now if I put it down, it'll actually rest a little bit on the lens hood here. So not too bad. Now, if you want to add even more accessories, you have options like this. There's a lot of options, guys, with different hardware, but this one's pretty cool. Let me show you what I mean. So what I can do is we have this quick release spot right there we can grab onto, which is very easy. We also have one on the other handle we could use, but what I want to do is I'm going to put it on this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide right over this one. Watch. And it's just going to snap into place like so. It's like solid now. You can see oh, just boom. No big deal. Now I'm going to loosen this guy up. And if I loosen this up, it allows me to turn everything. So I can turn this top one. They all tighten up uh, together. And this is actually notched. So anyways, let me just put that somewhere right about there. I'll aim this back up a little bit. Not sure how I'm going to need it just yet. Something like that. All right, so now I got this little light here and I'm gonna throw the light on. It's gonna remove this quick release and I'm gonna put this quick release on the bottom of the light. My handy dandy little tool here. Line that up, tighten that. So now we have the quick release plate on the bottom of the light and that will quick release snap right into here. So I could do that by just popping this on like so, and now I have the light mounted. So you could see, I could loosen this up, and now I could move this around however needed, like say something like this at a slight angle. So now you can see what this looks like with the light mounted and everything, looking at it from the side. Now this is a pretty solid, complete rig here that I have. Got the light, monitor, audio, good to go. Dual handles, and then of course the top handle. Now, another thing you can do with this is you don't have to use this handle. I can just hit the button and slide the handle right off. Remember, everything is quick release. So I could just quick release, take this off, boom, boom. Now I can just quick release, snap this right on here. And it just snaps in, boom. So now I got the light mounted there. All right, guys, so watch how fast I could break this down. And this is, again, this is what separates this system from other systems. Look at this, just push a button, boom. Push button, boom. Push this button, slide this off. Got this on the cold shoe here, so I just gotta unscrew it. Push that off. All right, mic is off. And then again, lastly, it's got one more button here. Close that door, slide that off, and I am back to just the cage. I mean, that is re remarkable, isn't it? Look at this. Boom, all three on there, put the light on, lights on. I mean, it's just ridiculous how quickly you can build the system, especially if you have it ready to go. So again, a really good solution out there, this Falcam stuff, there's just no doubt about it. Really like the versatility and the design of this system. And it's these handles are really well made too. They're worth the money. So I could just swivel this through, weave this through basically, right here if I want. There's so many options. Or I can swivel it through down here. There's different locations. This is where I like it for the wrist strap. So if you just weave that through there, and then you can just put that through the loop like so. Pull it taut, so now you have this on there. So check this out. 
So this is the wrist strap that Falcam makes. It's really nice. And you see this little notched end that it has on there? That is like specifically engineered to accept this connector. And it's magnetic. See how it just snaps in there? So that's magnetic and it's not gonna fall off by accident. Like there's no way that that's gonna fall off by accident. You have to grab it and like pull it out. So it's very easy to get on and off, but it also won't come off accidentally, which I really like. And then you can just swivel that on the wrist and then it'll cinch up nice and tight like so. And you have a really high quality wrist strap with this really nice cage. Now, another thing about this cage that's cool is you can hold it from the other side like this, which is kind of neat if you need your right hand for something. So it's not like another grip really, but it sort of is. It almost works as like another grip. Uh, just, you know, food for thought. Now when you're actually using the camera here, you could see how the grip actually gives you a little bit more pinky room here. So if you're holding the camera like this with your pointer finger on the shutter, look at where my pinky is. It's right on the bottom of the cage. So it is actually giving me a little extra support, which is nice. And what it reminds me of, is my A7C grip that I have on the bottom. So I got this extra grip for my A7C2, and it does the same thing with the pinky, like when you're using the camera. See on the bottom how my pinky has like a place for it, for it to go? This cage actually does that as well, which is really nice. Now I could take this off, and I have another magnetic strap here that I can put on over on this side, like so, if I weave that through there like that and just cinch it tight like so. So now I have two of these, right? So I have another really nice Falcam strap that I've been using and this one's awesome. It's got like that nice padding in there and notice it has these same two plastic ends that are magnetic. So watch this, how they just snap in there. See that? See how they just magically snap in there? And now I can put this on my head and I got this awesome neck strap and so forth. So that's how it works. And again, I just love this system because you could just drop this, pull it off in two seconds, little no fuss. All right, guys, I really hope you got what you were looking for in this video. And like I said, if you are not familiar with cages, now hopefully you are, and you could see why I like to use them. Like I said, for the most part, protection. And secondly, so I can just put them on a tripod easily. Thirdly, it would be to like rig it out like this when using in a more advanced setup. And this quick release system is just a game changer because of how quickly you could break down the camera and build it back up to a full rig. And uh, like I said, they make a lot of attachments which make this uh, highly versatile and very quick to use. So quick release. All right, guys, I will catch up with you next time. And if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and it would be super cool if you subscribed as well. All right, guys, links below the video in the description area. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll catch up with you next time. Take care.